They met me in the day of success, and I have learned by the perfectest report they have more in them than mortal knowledge. When I burned in desire to question them further, they made themselves air, into which they vanished. Whilst I stood wrapped in the wonder of it, came missives from the king who all hailed me Thane of Kodor, by which title before these weird sisters saluted me and referred me to the coming on of time with hail, king, that shall be. This have I thought good to deliver thee, my dearest partner of greatness, that thou mightst not lose the dues of rejoicing by being ignorant of what greatness has promised thee. Lay it to thy heart and farewell. Glums thou art, and Kodor, and shalt be what thou art promised. Yet do I fear thy nature. It is too full of the milk of human kindness to catch the nearest way. Thou wouldst be great, or not without ambition, but without the illness that should attend it. What thou wouldst highly, that wouldst thou holily, wouldst not play false, yet wouldst wrongly win. Thou wouldst have great gloves, that which cries, Thus must thou do it, thou have it, and that which rather thou dost fear to do, than wishes should be undone. I thee hither, that I may pour my spirits into thine ears, and chastise with the valor of my tongue all that impedes the golden round, which fate and metaphysical aid doth seem to have thee crowned withal. Come, you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts, unsex me here! And fill me from the crown to the toe, top full of direst cruelty. Rake thick my blood, stop up the access and passage to remorse, but no compunctious visitings of nature. Shake my fell purpose, nor make peace between the effect and it. Come to my woman's breasts, and take my milk for gall, you murdering ministers. Wherever in your sightless substances you wait on nature's mischief, come, thick night, and pull me in the goddess work of hell. And my keen knife see not the wound it makes, nor heaven peep through the blanket of the dark to cry, Hold! Hold! Great glance! What the Kodor? Greater than both by the all hail hereafter. Thy letters have transported me beyond this ignorant present, and I feel now the future in the instant. My greatest love, Duncan, comes tonight. And what your sense? Tomorrow, as he purposes. Oh, never shall son that morrow see. Thy face, my thing, is like a book where men may read strange matters. To beguile the time, look like the time. They're welcome in your eye, your hand, your tongue. Look like the innocent flower, but be the serpent under it. He that is coming must be provided for. And you shall put this night's great business into my dispatch, which to all nights and days to come gives solely sovereign sway and mask it up. We will speak of this further. Only look up clear. To alter favor ever is to fear. Leave all the rest to me.